EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for July 23rd, 2019. For your Tuesday, we're going to have some changes today with a frontal boundary that's going to be situated just off the coast here, but it's going to be close enough that we're going to be, be bringing some showers with inner area low pressure uh, riding along that boundary. So uh, we have a second wave of low pressure. It'll be slowly moving off the Jersey coast, and this is going to help to gradually drag the front further south finally. So it's going to pull this off to the south and east. Some morning showers for most. It uh, could linger in the early afternoon for areas farther south and east. So this is looking at 8 o'clock in the morning, and as we go through the course of the morning, you can see those showers being dragged down to the south and east throughout the course of the day. Could be some pop-up showers here during the course of the afternoon as well in the interior. These are more instability driven, uh, especially out here where you might see some peaks of sun late in the day. I don't think you're going to see it too far east because we have um, that front in such close proximity and there's a combination of that and uh, there's still a deep upper level trough uh, that's going to be to our west. So in between, we're kind of stuck between those clouds. Uh, again, showers early on, but that's going to diminish later in the day as this moves away and you can see the front just moving off to the south and east overnight and we will gradually clear overnight those areas that have the clouds uh, through most of the day will not have them overnight as we start to decrease those clouds and then we turn into wednesday and turn into a partly cloudy day with low humidity very low humidity very nice uh, and now we're gonna go right to uh, i started off with the nam because that's the only action we're gonna see for the next seven days or beyond actually here is looking at uh, Wednesday, we have partly cloudy skies in place, low humidity. We have a northwest, uh, north or a northwesterly wind flow, so it's going to be very pleasant, very low humidity, comfortable temperatures. Same thing here for Thursday, except Thursday we're going to go mostly sunny. Here is Friday. We are mostly sunny. Here is Saturday. High pressure is right here near the Delmarva, so we're going to start bumping up the temperatures a little bit once we get over the weekend, and especially here uh, by Sunday. Sunday it is sitting off the coast here, so you have a southwesterly flow coming back into play. And that means we're going to be making a run at 90 degrees by the time we get to Sunday and Monday of next week. Here's looking at Monday. Uh, much of the same thing. High pressures established off the eastern seaboard. And you have a southwesterly wind flow around that. So we're going to have temperatures 90 or maybe into the low 90s for a few locations. This is not going to be a repeat of the heat wave that we had uh, this past weekend. But it's still going to be normal summertime 90s that you would expect. But uh, we're going to get back into that. So we get a little reprieve during the week this week. Once we get uh, toward the weekend, we start to increase the temperatures uh, starting on Friday. Then it's going to increase a little bit more on Saturday, a little bit more on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday look like they're going to be hot days. Here's a look at Tuesday. Still dry. Uh, we will have a frontal boundary to contend with in the middle of next week. That's probably the first realistic chance we will have for any precipitation. So that's going to give us seven or eight straight days of dry weather. Mostly sunny all through that period. Very nice conditions. And again, press progressively warmer once we get uh, toward the weekend and over the weekend. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for July 23rd, 2019. Have a great Tuesday.